Heimbuchenthal is a community in the Aschaffenburg district in the Regierungsbezirk of Lower Franconia in Bavaria, Germany, and the seat of the Verwaltungsgemeinschaft of Mespelbrunn. It is also a state-recognized recreational resort. Heimbuchenthal lies in the Bavarian Lower Main in the upper valley of the Elsava and the Middle Gebirge Spessart. In 1282, Heimbuchenthal, whose name comes from the Hornbeams, had its first documentary mention. In 1495, the place was first named as a court center. Along with the Archbishopric of Mainz, the former Vogtamt passed its secularization to the newly formed Principality of Aschaffenburg, with which it passed in 1814 to the Kingdom of Bavaria. In 1982, there was a 700-year jubilee celebration which involved the dedication of a few tourist attractions. Within the municipal area there were 1,875 inhabitants in 1970, 2,106 in 1987, 2,260 in 2000 and 2,154 in 2013 according to official statistics, there were 133 workers on the social welfare contribution rolls working in producing businesses in 1998. In trade and transport this was 27. In other areas, 176 workers on the social welfare contribution rolls are employed, and 808 such workers work from home. There are two processing businesses. Three businesses are in construction, and furthermore, in 1999, there were four agricultural operations with a working area of 29 hectares. Municipal tax revenue in 1999 amounted to €1,211,000, of which business taxes amounted to €287,000. One kilometer west of the community is found the Heimathenhof, a former estate converted to a hotel and an inn. Right at the estate, red and fallow deer can be seen in a broad enclosure. Some four kilometers southwards in the Elseva Valley lies the Hallhammer Pond with a former hammerworks. First mentioned in the late 13th century was a hunting lodge called Mullen, along with a forester's seat, a first tube. In 1535, the lordly building was already in ruins and the Counts of Ingelheim, who already had their seat at nearby Mespelbrunn Castle, then had an estate built there, which was named Hollenhof after the nearby Hallschlucht. About 1,700 came the first hammerworks, driven by a mill, which took its name, Hallhammer, from the estate. The hammerworks, which in 1795 had been taken over by Georg Ludwig Rexroth, was said in the early 19th century to be the first and most productive hammerworks in the Principality of Aschaffenburg. About 1830 some 100 people lived at the Hallhammer and the specially built school was attended by up to 30 children. Until 1891, production continued. Thereafter the lands were converted into an estate. Still to be seen are the farmhand's house with the bell tower, the lord's house and the school. The buildings are all used as dwellings, even the old smithies. In the woods is found the Rexroth family's old graveyard. Today, the Hallhammer is private property and not accessible to the public. For her museum Petalwell, modern bicycle development and drive concepts from all over the world. The council is made up of 15 council members, counting the mayor. The mayor is Rüdiger Stenger. The community's arms might be described thus, Gules of Fess Wavy Argent, in chief three beech leaves of the first, two in saltier surmounted by the third palewise, issuant from the base a cogwheel spoke to five of the first. The German blazon does not mention the cogwheel spokes. The beech leaves in the arms refer to the geographical location in the High Spessart and are canting for the community's name. The Wavy Fess symbolizes the community's location in the Elseva Valley. The combination of the wavy fess and the cogwheel refers to the hammer works that was running in the 18th and 19th centuries in the outlying center of Hallhammer. The tinctures gules and argent are those also seen in the electoral mines coat of arms, mines having held the local lordship until 1803. The electoral mines AMT in the community comprised eight places and gave it a certain autonomy. The arms have been born since September 1981. Heimuschenthal features the following institutions. Thanks for watching.